just yet. Developing news out of North Korea this morning. Overnight, a new leader rose to power and some fear a new dictator. Josh Boos is monitoring these developments from our breaking news center. Josh, what's happening? Well, good morning, Paul, to you. The uh, country officially named a new leader. Kim Jong-il's youngest son is now what they call the, quote, supreme leader. Kim Jong-un, a young man in his late 20s, now leads North Korea's ruling party, the military there, and the 24 million people who live in North Korea. Now, Kim Jong-un took over during the final ceremonies of his father's funeral, which continued throughout the overnight hours. According to the North Korean state-controlled media, Kim Jong-il died of a heart attack on December 17th, about two weeks ago. During the final events honoring Kim Jong-il, ceremonial head of state Kim Jong-nam told people in the main square that Kim Jong-un inherits his father's, quote, ideology, character, and revolutionary cause, and is now supreme leader. The big question is, how will this affect the rest of the world?